all right y'all thank y'all for coming back to my channel so i'm just gonna jump right into it um as you can see i'm just putting thread on the um through the track and if you don't know this is part two of my um tamia sewing special so yeah anyways let's add this hair in so i'm gonna go in with the lightest piece first and um i like to sew under the bottom braid and to me the hardest part is getting started with the sewing once i'm started i'm good but um yeah that's just a little tip just in case it's a little hard at first but um so now i'm just going to sew this track under her braid and um just in case you want to like put it up in a ponytail or you know something like that So as you can see, I'm going from side to side and what I'm about to show y'all is like how I flip my track over. Now you can do this with like double tracks or single tracks and um, it'll work like just fine. It's just that when you do it with double tracks, you have to be careful and make sure that it's like really, really flat. Alright, so right here I'm just showing you how I flip the track over, which is basically just bending it back and then I'm going to sew it down by going under the track and the braid. Alright, so once the track ends, I'm just going to thread another track on there and I'm actually doubling the back and then toward the front, I'm just going to use single tracks. And if you don't know what doubling the track means, it means like folding the track in half so that you'll, you're will you sewing in two tracks instead of one. So yeah, I'm just going to finish sewing going back and forth and back and forth.
right so now um, I'm toward the front where I want to add the brown now you can flip it over in the front if you want um, I did have a lot of clients that wanted their tracks flipped because it does save um, like your bundles but me personally I would rather have mine cut in the front because like it just lays so much flatter so what you just saw me do was just tack down the track which means going over it so that it's secure and then I'm going to go in with the brown and um, I think let me see oh well I'm still double tracking it now but in the minute you'll notice that I'll only have one track so when I start the the um what's it called when I start sewing it in at the front um I do secure the track down before I continue the sewing all right so when you run out of thread this is a trick that I do um, I always have two needles ready, so I'ma stick the needle through that has the longer thread, which is the newer thread. I'ma knot that, which means going over the track a couple times, and then I'm gonna tie together the new thread with the old thread, and then cut the shorter needle so that you don't have to go through all that tying and all that. It's just gonna make the knot for you, and just continue sewing like normal. All right, so when I get to the front, I curve it just a little bit and then I flip it. This is what I do in the bank area so that some of the hair can fall, can fall like toward her face. And since this is going to be like a full sew in with no leave out, I wanna make sure that um, she has like a nice bang. So now I'm about to apply the black. I said apply. <laughs> I'm about to sew in the black hair. And I'm just going to simply fill in what's left. You see the two thin braids that I started off with? I'm not going to sew on them yet because that is how I'm going to get my part natural. So I'm just going to fill in everything but the two braids. All right, y'all. So as you can see, I've sewn everything up, but the two um, braids. This is how the color is blending together. I think it came together really, really nice. So, of course, this is what it looks like before I do the part. And this is how it looks once I finish the part. But the part is going to be in part three. So, I will list that video below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check the link in my description to watch part three. Bye.